Hi friends, I am making this video for the freshers who don't know what is an ERP and what is a career in ERP. So all those who are from the finance background or from the engineering background or from the computer background should know about the career in ERP. Dynamics Consultancy Services is a consultancy services which provides two activities, two things. One is a training and next is a placement. So we are expert into this uh, training uh, for ERP and uh, freshers can join this training. They can get trained themselves and uh, get placed through us or they can also find the job or search the job in various portal and they can get the good job. So let's start with the topics like what topics we are covering into this. There is a concept for ERP. One should know that what exactly this ERP does, how it is useful and all. Second will be the what is a Microsoft Dynamics 365. So that we will introduce that Dynamics 365. Third, we will tell that why it is one of the best ERP in India and world nowadays. Fourth, we will cover the scope of Dynamics 365 consultants. So how big scope, what the salary prospects, so all these things we will cover into that. Then there is a career in Dynamics 365. What kind of careers? There are multiple careers into uh, this consulting. Then how we are helping or how Dynamics uh, Consultancy Services is helping to become a good consultant. And finally, what is the eligibility to get an admission into these courses. So there are some minimum requirements which has to be done there for required for the eligibility. What is an ERP? Literally the ERP stands for Enterprise Resource Planning. It is an integrated computer system that manages many things like recording, like record day-to-day -day transactions and information in a systematic manner. So in any organization like manufacturing organization or any trading organization, the day-to-day -day activity needs to be recorded in properly and it has to be stored in systematic manner. So that is the first activity does by these ERPs. Then that data should be processed properly. So the second activity does by ERP is to process the data and information and provide statutory reports management decision making reports, graphs and key performance indicators into real time. So whenever the data is come, we need to provide this data to the statutory departments for taxation purpose or any company law department for statutory purpose, for invoicing, for the sales purpose. So, so many documents we need to generate through system which is to be provided with the proper formats and all. So all these things generate by the ERPs. Then management needs to take a call that whether we have to improve or we need to uh, increase the sale or reduce the cost. So all these decisions based on the analysis. So these analysis done by the analytical reports, we can call key, per key performance indicators. So these indicators or these uh, reports or this data, we need in a real time so, so that we can take a call quickly. So that is what nowadays uh, ERPs can process the data quickly and give you the reports quickly. Then it manages the resources of company like man, machine and material. So how system man manage the man, machine and material? So man means human, human resource. It has to... Uh, know that how many resources are there, uh, who is doing what, what is their responsibility, what, what is their restrictions. 
so every user should be entered into his erp with his specific ro ro roles and uh, his rights he can approve he should be a workflow can enable for approving the transactions kind of so that will system uh, manages that then machines is integrated with the erp so if any machine is providing some information it is to be integrated and recorded automatically into the system that data will uh, required for the decision making then material the what uh, what kind of material it is it is good material or it has to be processed material and that material will be moved from the one step to another step that is called bill of material to be generated and then a uh, finished goods could be per, uh, generated through the uh, and all these steps involve the cost and that cost to be incorporated and system should provide the final cost so that we can this management can take a call that okay how much margin we have to uh, put into that and you can generate a sales price so all this can be managed through the erp now modern erp softwares are artificially intelligent and providing futuristic possibility to take the preventive actions now it what it means it means they it is it is containing the artificial intelligence so it is faded with the coding or with, with the data or analysis data in such a way that if you give some input it will analyze that input and it will tell that what could be happened in future so based on that uh, futuristic uh, possibility you can take a preventive action now so this is what happening nowadays so that is called the artificially intelligent softwares so these erps this microsoft dynamics 365 is a modern erp and it is artificially intelligent erp what is microsoft dynamics 365 erp why it is one of the best erp so microsoft dynamics the 365 is a cloud based intelligent user friendly and flexible business process management erp software which manages and integrates companies various things like financial data supply chain management manufacturing and production human resource management and many other activities it it quickly integrates with other systems hundreds of plug and play apps are easily available to connect to dynamic 365 it is a next generation erp application so now looking to the financial data when we say a financial data to be integrated a financial data to be uh, uh, process so when we whenever we called an erp as we said every departments are linked to each other and the data flows from one department or one module to another module so why financial data is uh, connected to the supply chain supply chain data is connected to the manufacturing and uh, production and human resource data is connected to the uh, all other uh, modules wherever required so dynamics 365 is such a erp which is very user friendly we have so many erps in the market but the most easiest and user friendly erp is the dynamics 365 the another advantage is flexibility because it is a microsoft platform so whatever microsoft apps there are so many like microsoft office uh, microsoft uh, d365 um, uh, emails outlook express excel word all these are integrated quickly there is no need to have a separate middleware or any other um, software to uh, incorporate or required to connect it like that there are so many apps which are easily easily available from uh, in the app stores and just get downloaded and it can be connect easily so that's why it is one of the best erp in this world now look at the scope for dynamics 365 consultants so there are so many uh, jobs available for dynamics 365 consultants so what is the average salary they are getting so for freshers it is around 2 to 4 lakhs they can start with 
and within 2 to 4 years it could be 5 to 10 lakhs so this is the average uh, salary uh, uh, getting into the current market but how do we consider or confirm that so we need to take the help of uh, some uh, job portals like naukri times job or nigel frank so let's see the how these uh, portals analyze and uh, give us the reports look at naukri.com search it shows 3368 open jobs for ax so when you go to the naukri.com and if you put the search that uh, ax jobs so you will get to know how many jobs are available into the market so there are 3368 open jobs for ax so in even in bangalore it is showing 1149 in hyderabad in delhi and mumbai these are the major four cities where the jobs are available but it is available in other cities like pune and even ahmedabad is so many jobs are there just next look at the other portals times job search shows 2065 open jobs for dynamics ax so these keywords uh, is very important uh, in naukri we use ax jobs in uh, times job we use dynamics ax look at nigel frank so nigel frank is the international uh, portal which provides the jobs throughout the world mostly in european and us countries and even arabian countries so it doesn't mean that it shows only 1006 open jobs because it is not covering maybe india but there are uh, various jobs and specialty of nigel frank is they pro shows only their work only for the dynamics uh, or microsoft uh, openings so just uh, search with the openings for uh, dynamics 365 jobs you will get 1006 open positions now look at the career in dynamics 365 erp when we talk about the careers there are various types of uh, people required to implement the erp to uh, operate the erp to manage the erp so there are basically two categories one is the functional consultants and another is the technical consultant now when we say a functional consultant so again it will be bifurcate to the four to five uh, different categories like one is the finance consultant so finance consultant means who who should be who who become a finance consultant who should know a basic accounting knowledge so you should have a domain knowledge of finance then only you can become a finance consultant then a supply chain management consultant so who can uh, become a supply chain consultant who knows the stores and inventory kind of uh, knowledge so who he can become a supply chain management consultant then if someone has already uh, knowing the manufacturing processes and production uh, things so he can become a manufacturing and production consultant then there is a hr and payroll consultant so those who are uh, from the hr background those can be become a hr and payroll consultant so these consult when you say functional consultant so their role is to take the requirement from the customer or from from the client understand their requirement note it into systematic manner and then he will convey this to technical to or it, he can configure as per requirement and if it is there is any changes or any customization required he will convey to the technical people so the there is a another consultant called technical consultant now look at his role so technical consultants are a developer or a report cons reporting consultant so if someone is having a good knowledge of uh, computer programming he can become a technical consultant there is another consulting in technical line is that environment and administrator so who those who are good in networking and all or lcs or they know the azure little bit so they can become a administrator so these are two basic uh, careers in the 
Dynamics 365 implementation and another one once you have a experience in functional or technical for around 5 to 6 years or even 10 years then you can become a solution architect or a pre-sales executive or a project manager or a ERP head into the companies. There is one more career which is a, a user career or end user career. So who just want to operate that system accountant can uh, use uh, for his uh, regular day to day activity uh, or a stores guy use his activity in the dynamics. So that is called an end user. So that is actually he can train uh, in a few days. So we don't call it as a career but uh, that is also one of the line. So one has uh, accounting knowledge and he wants to become uh, want to join and get good salary. He can also become a uh, end user uh, training. How Dynamics Conservancy Services helping to become a good consultant. So as we said we are a, a expert trainer for uh, Dynamics uh, 365 ERP. So how we are different than others. So we are not just training for the product but we also train for the documentation required for consulting and the presentation and demonstration skills. So when you say a product training there are so many features, so many functionalities available uh, in each uh, module. So we go deeper as deeper as the student wanted and we provide the in-depth training. There are regular assignments into that. So students need to fulfill or provide the solve that all assignments and finally we will take one internal projects for that. So that way a consultant become a good consultant and he can start delivering the results to the company from the day one. In, in uh, consulting there are as I said there are two types of consultant functional and technical. So we have bifurcated that uh, courses into the four courses. So for course one which for finance functional training level 1. So right now we are just conducting these four courses. In future we may uh, add some more courses but the first one is for finance functional training level 1. Second one is the finance functional training level 2. Third one we are taking technical consultant training for level 1 and technical consultant training for level 2. As we said there are uh, uh, finance functional consultant training. So for level 1 what topics we are covering uh, for that modules names we are given that introduction to ERP and introduction to other things uh, required uh, to understand uh, this ERP environment and how to log in what is the desk, dashboard and what is the home screen and all. Then uh, GL general ledger module then there is a accounts payable module that is AP then a contestable module, then there is a cash and bank module and what we train for the consulting is that configuration and transaction both. So then we cover the basic data management that is the import and export uh, through entity, data entity. Then we cover some intern, inter company and consolidation etc. So these, these are all high level topics which we have mentioned here in level 1. So there are many other things which are common for all these modules which we also cover in level 1. In level 2 we cover the final fixed asset module, we cover budget module, we cover the project accounting module. Uh, project accounting in uh, high level or not in the deep level. Then system admin module, then we cover the data management, configuration and transaction input exports. Then electronics payments we cover, then integration setups for automatic emails through SMTP setup or Outlook Express setup. Then there is a management reporter which needs to generate the reports for financial reports and then advanced data management. So these are some high level uh, points uh, in level 2. So both the things uh, we cover into level 1 and means complete financial uh, consulting uh, covers into level 1 and level 2. In technical training, 
we have again the two levels level 1 uh, covers introduction introduction about erp then introduction about cloud what is the difference between cloud erp and a normal uh, erp then um, lcs that life cycle services then introduction about d365 then data model then x++ programming then ssrs that is the sql server reporting services then user interface security extensions so all these covers into level 1 uh, technical training and in level 2 we cover advanced programming features then batch frameworks there are various frameworks then integrations logic apps biz talks o data there are so many other uh, features also like workflows and um, configuration of workflow then uh, uh, customization of workflows so these are all covers into the level 2 as i said earlier there is a eligibility criteria for each courses so here the course one is for a finance consultant or a functional consultant for financial models so we are expecting at least he should have a good accounting knowledge he can become a ca or a icwa or mba finance and even bcom can join this course the only advantage for this degree is you will get a, a good salary once you are experienced so even bcom can start with the 2 lakhs or 3 lakh salary get train uh, himself and if his communication skill is good his product knowledge is good and um, he can get the good salary for advantage of chartered and uh, mba finance guys that they can get the good uh, uh, increments on their jobs course 2 is a uh, again a f uh, functional consultant for finance and it's a level 2 course so he must clear or he must pass the level 1 course then only he can go for the level 2 so all uh, charters or financial background people can go with the level 1 first he can start uh, their job and then he can also parallelly start this level 2 course also level uh, then the third course is the technical functional cons technical consultant a technical consultant uh, needs a BE degree or a BTEC or MCA or a BSc Computer Science call also do this course. So whoever having a good programming skill, programming knowledge like OOPS concepts can uh, join this technical level 1 course. Once you clear or pass level 1 of technical, you can join the level 2 course. I hope you guys uh, understand uh, the high level uh, concept of ERP and uh, what are the careers into this ERP uh, world and how the Microsoft Dynamics is uh, uh, booming or what is the scope of Microsoft Dynamics consultants and uh, introduction to the myself is myself Rahul Admane. I am working in this uh, industry from last 16 years. I done my BCom and then a diploma in computer management at Pune and done the master of computer management. I have implemented around uh, 6 to 7 end to end uh, ERP projects in various uh, countries like uh, Kuwait, Muscat, then uh, USA. I have implemented uh, some manufacturing companies like uh, Raviraj Foils which is in uh, Ahmedabad. So I have a good exposure of all the ERP uh, concepts and uh, good uh, knowledge of the Dynamics 365 ERP. Thank you very much. You can call me anytime on my mobile number is given into uh, slide and we have emails that is info at the rate d365erptraining.com and uh, 
another gmail id is the d365 training at the rate gmail.com for more details you can visit our uh, website www.d365erptraining.com this site is uh, under development also we will keep on updating that slides uh, that website so keep watching the uh, website and please feel free to call me for any other queries thank you very much